THD 3000 review. Um, yeah, we're back, we're back, we're back. The third review, the third review of four. The fourth one's gonna be the Boogeyman. This one is, hmm, I wonder what this, this review will be, guys. I wonder what this could be. Oh, wow, it's Cold Hate THD 3000. Okay. Anyways, aside from joking, this is one of the best animatronics, coolest and creative of all time. I mean, it's a half robot, half human. How can you, how can you not enjoy that? Um, but anyways, so, so, I am, I swear to God, I'm like OCD oriented, but he's supposed to have seven wires here in the back of his head, so it's probably fell out somewhere in my garage, but we'll find it eventually, we'll find it eventually, it's good as it is, um, or I'll just ask for a new head, because I'm insane, anyways, <laughs> so, THD 3000, pretty much the Terminator, um, literally just amazing, I mean, look at this, this is so cool, it's a full thick plastic mold, it's not gonna break on you, um, here's like, I think these these are are like I think rubber and they're neon and then so he has the three l lights here which are really cool. Um, there's a sensor, this blade which is actually that's a it's a huge blade if you guys cannot tell. Um, so this lights up blue, those light up blue. His eye lights up red. Um, amazing servo head movement. Um, and then he moves his mouth, he blinks and moves his eye. So realistic. Um, he has that right there, which is annoying. I don't know why they have that hole. So then he has the uh, hand too. Um, it has the, the Terminator scars here. So you can see his metal. Here's the back of him. His cape looks goofy from behind. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, there's the wires. You attach them to little holes um, up by his shoulders there. Um, he has just the standard SVI base, pretty much. Nothing insane. Um, he's seven. He's, like, a little bit over seven feet. He's really big. Um, I love him. I don't know. I, I, I mean, oh, so this arm moves, too, if I didn't say. Um, yeah, he has, I don't know how many phrases. His voice is really cool. This is just normal... Like, this is th thicker cloth. Um, he has the pants here. I like the fact that the wires actually, like, they kind of fit in. So, you know, they didn't have to hide that. Because he actually does have pants, too. They're just kind of hard to see because they're covered up by his, his strange outfit. This is a little strange, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, there's the cape. It's, the outfit is pretty much being held on by Bell Crows as well as the cape. Um... Velcro's onto the shoulder there, I know. So there you can see they got the cool part of his skin is showing. Um, and then half of his head is human, half of it is robot. Um, and then we have the cool boot. I'm pretty sure that's the Gravedigger's boot. This is, this is thick plastic. That's not the thin one. Same with this one. This is a really good looking foot. They put a lot of detail into this. Very detailed. Um, just very amazing. Love his phrases. Love his uniqueness and creativity. Um, love how he looks. Love his movement a lot. Um, just e literally like everything about him is cool. There's like no, no complaint. Um, I'd say my only annoying actually complaint is that the cape was kind of annoying to put on. Other than that, I'd say like... He's one of the best retail animatronics ever. He's really cool. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, the face is latex. Um, the eye is plastic. There's the motor in the eye that it's not really working, but it opens and closes his eye. I think there's one on the bottom and the top. I could be wrong. I know it moves. His eye, his red eye is really bright, actually, which is kind of cool, too. Um, yeah. There's his mechanism. Um. 
I don't know what that's for. That's... That's some sort of mode. Oh, that's for his arm. I'm so dumb. <laughs> um, also, uh, annoying thing is you have to, like, lift this up, and then sometimes I can rip the Velcros off to put the adapter in. But I don't really care, to be honest, about that that much. Because I could just... I could just put it through here if I wanted to. Um, this is plastic. Um, this is plastic. These are all plastic. This is plastic. All this is plastic, pretty much. This is actually latex, though, which is kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, then you can see the servo head motor. Um, back of his legs. Um, he's already plugged in. But you can narrowly see his control box. So let's plug him in and go through his phrases because I think I said more than I even needed to say. That is a creaky arm. Jeez. He's motion. He doesn't have continuous. Most SPLs do. He doesn't. Tracking sensors still function and your destruction is imminent. Calculations have determined that your chances of escape are less than one percent. Goodbye. That's going. Um, the blade moves. That moves. I have yes. to exterminate. Exterminate. Really hard to see. Yeah, his voice is really cool. His phrases are really cool, too. You are an unknown intruder in this sector. Scanning for identification. Searching. Searching complete. You are approved. Our extermination. Stand by. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a nice day. And then, whenever he's in his... Whenever he's in his, uh... Like, uh, oh, he has a lights only mode too, I forgot to mention. Whenever he's in, not activated, he adjusts his eyes, so he kind of looks pissed off, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, he adjusts his eye before, or after he's activated. Definitely one of the all time best, as I said. So cool, so unique, so much detail. Such good movement, such good audio. Like, I want to hook this dude up to the big speaker, honestly. That'd be really cool. This world does not belong to you, it belongs to us. Do you not realize that you will take the I swear, it looks like he's staring into your soul. See, I don't know how many phrases he has. Don't bother running, human. Our tracking sensors still function, and your destruction is imminent. My internal calculations have determined that your chances of escape are less than. Yeah, it's hard to see in the day, but the but the blue the blade lights up blue too. Yeah, he's just overall awesome. Um like I said, one of the best retail which of all time. He's 280, so worth the price in my opinion um that's about everything i have to say about him really good love this guy definitely get him um and i see a lot of people complaining that he's not the uh the uh traditional halloween design if he's not your traditional halloween design then make it your own sci-fi theme or whatever this dude would fit in be creative don't just do the same thing every day so yeah thank you guys for watching please have an amazing rest of your day and i'll Hopefully see you in the next video. Please, please sub. Thank you.